Hello and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. I think I've solved the problem now that was causing um, some issues. But um, if it rears its head again, I, I apologise. But I'm sure it had something to do with me getting notifications from Steam. So I'm just signed out of Steam now. So I shouldn't get any notifications. So it shouldn't be a problem. So anyway, let's just continue on. Oh god, nurses straight away, lovely. Right, so I haven't checked the nurses station yet on this floor, and then after that I think we've got to look for a way upstairs. So, can't get in there. So how do I get upstairs? There's two possible ways, let's try the nearest one, which is this door here. That's locked. And now I'm trapped by these nurses. God damn it. Uh, how am I for health? Use a drink. Right. I can avoid this one. Let's do this. There we go. That one's got a gun, so fuck. Wait, that lock's broken. Oh, God. God damn it. Got shot. But where the f. Where am I meant to go then? Uh, duh, 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 duh. There's a room at the end of this hallway that I haven't checked, I suppose. Did I pick up any object? I can't even remember whether I picked up any items. What items have I got on me? Uh, nail polish remover. Nail polish remover, that's right. I need to uh, go back to that room wherever that uh, key was stuck to the wall. Um, where was that? Is it marked on my map? Is it C4? Because that's got something marked on it, so possibly C4, so I've got to go downstairs again. Yeah, I can't go in there. Uh, where's the lift? Because I think I used the lift to get up to this floor. Yeah. Uh, right, so I want to go down to first floor again. And then I want to go into this part down here. And then I want to go into C4, which will probably be the last one on the left. I think it was the last one on the left, anyway. C4. And is this the one with the... Yes, this is the one with all the stuff stuck to the wall. And if we use the nail polish remover now, we can grab that key. Stairwell key. So, yeah. That was the stairwell that was locked upstairs. We use it for that. So, head back up in the lift. See, when I've got a decent amount of space to run round, if not got guns, I'm not too bad with avoiding these nurses. I just need to get back into a rhythm. Right, second floor. Again. Well, have I even got a weapon equipped? Should I need to actually use a weapon? No, I haven't. I've managed to unequip one. I'm running low on health items. Well, I'd, I'm running low on health drinks anyway. I don't know if I'm running particularly low on first aid kits. I've run the wrong way because the stairwell is here. Let me in. There we go. Right. Presumably I want to go up because I haven't checked the third floor. Right. What's in here? Other than the obvious answer of the third floor. Hmm. There's a note here. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten, sen the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing, this looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she'd been fired. Oh, great. I'm in, like, a room with a load of doors. Oh, hello. Thank you for that one, game. Can I... Is there anything in this room other than her? No. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm gone. 
Had to look like she was looking at something then. Is there something in here? Oh no, it was just the door she was looking at. She was just looking at it at a weird angle. Aha! Another book. With a doll. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamouring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast. When you smile, my thoughts disturbed. My breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept your pr <clears throat> But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Yeah, he's still strangely obsessed with Heather. Which is a bit weird. Uh, is that all that was in here? I suppose it's only a small area in, on the whole f in terms of the whole floor. Storeroom. There's a safe point there, which I will use in a moment. First things first, let's grab the stun gun battery and some health drinks. Oh, and there's another book with uh, another doll. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient, it's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Stanley Coleman. Yeah, because, you know, crazy people never think they're crazy. I mean, sane people don't think they're crazy either, so it's not like, if you don't think you're crazy, you're crazy. It's just, you never get... You generally don't get a crazy person going, yeah, I know I'm a bit insane. They're generally all, everyone else is crazy except me. Is there anything else worth checking? Uh, there's a door around here. Can I get in it? No. And then there's the door that goes to that corridor that's on the same on all floors. Can I go in it? No, nope, it's locked. Oh, it's got a keypad. So, uh, we need to know the code for it. But, uh, Stanley, in his diary... Whatever that is. I suppose it's his diary. That. Okay. Um, <laughs> sort of shocked me a bit there. But anyway, Stanley in his diary mentions something about a key being hidden in the basement. So. Let's check the basement. And a wheelchair with one wheel still spinning. And a nice camera angle switch. And that is a really creepy noise as that slows down. Okay. It's a bit odd. At least it's stopped now. But here we are anyway. Back at this area where what we want to do is we want to take out the camera. And use it. Because then we can see around the back of this. And if Heather takes the photo out and shakes it, like a Polaroid picture, quite literally. 8719. Great. Now back up to the third floor. I suppose there's a few other doors here, it can't hurt to uh, check them because there's a submachine gun here, and I'd be pissed if I missed that. Although it seems like someone wanted to kill someone in the in the in the lift. And there's a lot of submachine gun rounds, like just sprayed all over the floor. Lovely. Wheelchairs stopped moving now. But wheelchairs sort of like a staple of all Silent Hill games, even when you're not in a hospital, you tend to see a lot of wheelchairs in Silent Hill games. Of course, there is an infamous part in Silent Hill 4 where you literally start getting attacked by 
wheelchairs that try and run you over. Eight seven one nine it was, wasn't it? Yes, yes it was. It's unlocked. Okay, what's what's in here then? Lots of broken locks and a few not broken ones that I can use to uh some sort of celebrity gossip magazine there. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organisation sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organisation that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temporary, who lives near Hope House. In fact, I don't even know if that means temp. But it, I don't even know what that means. Temp, anyway. Had this to say. Sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison, or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers, yeah, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. And Heather feels like she's heard the name Hope House before. Tissue and alarm clock. Huh. The clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Lock is broken. And another broken lock. Ah, finally one that's open. And... Oh, here we go. There's another diary page here and a doll, but this doll's been decapitated and one of its legs has been pulled off. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me. Because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone. More beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day. For today. The day I'd see you. The day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Well, at least we won't be getting any more creepy notes off uh, Stanley. Oh, but there's nurses now, suddenly. Out of nowhere. Oh, damn it. Uh, another room with a phone. And the phone's ringing. Um. Hello? Hello? Claudia? No, I'm not- Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Obviously, Leonard was speaking to, to you then. Just I'm referring to Claudia as though he's his daughter, so... Presumably it is Leonard we're speaking to. 
My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. Yep, there we go, Leonard. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Yeah, I gathered that. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No. No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? That's right. You know, words. tell her father that you're going to kill her. Because I'm sure he'll take that well. Exactly. I'm going to forgive her if she changed her ways, but I see it's too late. Oh, fair enough. He's changed his mind. He decides to be on our sides. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I'm sure there wasn't a door there before. Please. A seal? Yes, a seal. The end of the hall on the second floor. But yeah, I'm sure there wasn't a door there. I'm sure I checked all the doors that were uh, on the second floor and oh god, hello everyone. Check these two doors quickly, but no, there's nothing there. Fine, let's just go back down to the second floor. Oh, what's that? Beef jerky. No, oh, never mind. Won't use it anyway. Right, down through the second floor. to the end of this hall, I believe. She's got a gun, she's only got a pipe, that's alright. And lo and behold, mysterious door that's M. Nothing. It's not got a number, it's just M. And it takes us into this weird area. 